All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. MIC members, non-members, anybody who watches this video, we are doing another ESPN highlight reel MIC style. Uh, this is all the plays for the week, guys. The things I want to just give a quick, you know, couple lessons and then the things that the members are doing great in the process, what Alex is doing, how to teach you guys. And really quick, guys, if at any point during this video you really like what you see or maybe you think MIC is for you or any questions at all, all I want you to do is go to myinvestingclub.com, book a call with yours truly, Tosh Bradley, one of the creators of MIC, or text this number, 213-458-5997, and I will hook you up with information, and we can go further and see if MIC is for you. But guys, let's let's dive in. I'm excited about this week. This was a sick week. So Alex was out today, but he was here most of the week. We threw a live trading event on Tuesday. I'll talk about it. But all right, so going back to Monday, December 5th, which we are right here. This is December 5th, so day one and day two, technically speaking, coming back from Friday, you know, when SHPH ran, we're going into day two. Alex said, all right, I'm looking for 3, 310 to 320 with 335 stop. So if I just draw the quick lines, obviously, you know, we're going whole and half dollar. That's the number one way um, up to 320 because any of those bag holders from pre-market and or um, at any point on day two, were pretty much underwater that wanted to get out. So, you know, obviously, guys, these are shells of companies. This is not the next Amazon. The chances are like, Point zero 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 one, um, because of and it's probably even less odds than that. But because of this, we trade the lines because that's where our edge is. This is where Alex hit. So if we look at the chart right here, Alex waited for the exact push he wanted um, into the three line. It didn't go high enough, but he still got a lot of size right here. Uh, covered up under view up and guys again. Process first hour your money's made. Just nail and bail and that is the best example let's see what the members are doing i don't have pnls for most days as alex was so busy with the live trading series and a lot of back end stuff um i think he forgot to post a couple but i do have one 5100 on tuesday which we'll just say that's what he made for the week but let's go through this so shph just because alex shorted it does not mean there's still not money to be made and this is exactly what travers does on the dips he's just so good at capturing those dips and selling those rips so great job travers another one i actually wanted to showcase on this is not every trade on the dip is gonna work and this is a really really good example of a cut i know he was using the niche and the notch combined with vwap right here on a strong stock k i r k kirk but he cut it as soon as it didn't work out for them. And again, guys, we are not just celebrating wins. We are celebrating process. And within that process, every now and then, a trade is not going to go your way. But if you protect yourself, you are still going to be a trader 100 years from now. Or however long left you have to live. Maybe five years from now. Maybe 100. You know, everybody's different. But Danny, really good job following the absolute linear process that is the watch list, SHPH. Wonderful job uh, there as well. And then Danny again on DBGI, waiting for it to top out, hitting those pops, getting a little before the top, but once it tops out, hitting the pops and covering the washes and simple, simple, simple process. And the reason why I showcased him again is he came back later during the day during reversal hour and caught the end of the day. I love it. That is what is called time-based trading. Knowing when you have an edge based on the time of the day that the particular stock in question is actually trading at. So let's go to DVGI. We are December 6th now should be. I think I gave a webinar on this. So that's why we have the days up. But let's see. Okay. December 6th is going to be right here for day two. Alex was saying, I guess it, yeah, right here. Looking for a morning pop to 5 to 5.30, guys. Let's just draw those lines to kind of showcase. Um, 5 to 5.30, obviously, this is where, yep, I did give a webinar on this. So most of the volume was stuck up here, obviously. Whole and half dollar, like we always put. That's how you make your watch list. Alex made 5,100. This was the live trading session, guys. So let me just actually post about that, and then I'll show you the chart. But let me, let me show you what we were doing on Tuesday. So we specifically, for lifetime members, through a live trading event, screen shared, audio commentary, Bow and Alex, most of the mods. It was a hell of a time. If you have any reason to upgrade right now for lifetime, we're going to be doing many more of these in the future, guys. We have a live trading series. I am telling you right now, 
to be a lifetime member at MIC is the best educational content on the freaking internet and it's an absolute steal and if you have any interest just reach out to me uh, for pricing and or you know I'm not here to like plug anything just pricing if or questions that you have about it but guys it's exactly what Alex wanted right into the five line he scaled up a bit I know he was willing to scale before just because Alex says guys that's necessarily 5 to 530 does not mean that you sometimes don't get in a little bit previous because you can feel out the sentiment live. So he was on the audio commentary explaining that and a lot of members took advantage of that. Just what a perfect pop this was into the overhead and or long, you know, longs that were stuck, especially because on day two, DBGI is opening pretty damn weak. I mean, think about it, guys. It's opening dear, dear, near here. <laughs> Tongue twister. I'm uh, getting over myself, but uh, it's it's like damn near down here. So, you know, this opens anywhere around here, and uh, this is basically a huge percentage of stuck longs that are wanting to get out break even and or for any kind of profit as soon as this pops. So they're like, all right, again, you know, it's one of those things where it's, it's not Amazon again. You know, this is not the next Berkshire Hathaway. So let me just get out for a small loss or break even for a small profit. And then the supply overhauls the demand. And that is why you play the continuation play. So for day twos, that's what we talk about with continuation play. And that's exact. That's exactly what Alex was doing on Tuesday. Let's see what the members did. A couple of examples here. Let me expand upon. Yep, David, who's one of our long traders, actually. Uh, DBGI, short little scalp will add to the bounce. Wonderful job. Make your money in the first half hour, and then you're gone. XPEV, E did a wonderful job on that. Thanks, Alex, and the mods. That's what live commentary, mentorship, and the watch list provides. Uh, if we come into... Uh, December 6th as well. Check this out, guys. Just because we have a lot of short sellers does not mean that we don't teach longs and how to catch those support lines, which obviously that Ryan Conley was drawing on drawing on Armed. Wonderful job. Sell into another line, and that is the most classic example, guys, of what line-to-line -line trading is. So just absolutely fantastic. I'm telling you guys, 90% of the battle is just knowing where the support lines are and knowing where the, where the resistance lines are lines are and then waiting for them literally waiting for a good entry at your lines it's all lines man it's all lines so here's a really really good example of david actually doing a stop on a stock that didn't work so he wasn't feeling it armed kept going further than he than he liked here's the best part guys when the trade doesn't go your way you cut it immediately and this is why we teach risk management so um, with so much precision and so much clarity of why we do it, you know, hard stops, market hard stops, max loss on the day. These are the things that have kept us in the game for nearly a decade and bow two decades. So it's going to keep you in the game for many decades to come. I love what Bryant did here. Waited for this massive top on XPEV hit exactly where it failed previous, or at least the upper echelon where you should scale, and uh, paid himself on the drop. I, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see, DBGI, Hooper X, exactly per watch list. I'm telling you guys, it, does, it doesn't get better than that. The watch list is literally designed to make you a ton of money like soy sauce here. So um, what can I say? Awesome, awesome, awesome job that the members are doing. We're cruising into Wednesday, December 7th. I was given a webinar on this day, and we have DBGI, uh, the second post from Alex, and uh, I think this was day three of the move, yeah, so if I skill out of this a little bit, one sec, so we'll show right here, day one, day two, day three of the move, this is why I talked about during the webinar, guys, massive dead cat bounce into outer lines again, again, really this, you know, these lines that we're interested in, I know Alex had five the day before, guys, you can see it's almost making these exact levels, Alex was saying, what was he saying, let's take a look, um, DBGI, it's a runner on a PR today, that's why we got the dead cat, that dead cat bounce, pushed and rejected five so far, pretty much pre-market, waiting to see what it does at the open, if it pops and fails, I will look to join pops to short. So that was the plan. Oh, here we go. If we pull up the chart, what you're going to see, guys, or at least I don't know if Alex actually caught the trade, but he drew the lines of what he wanted. You know, this, I mean, guys, this is absolute process, right? Back in the outer lines, a stock that's, again, obliterated the day before, or if it's not obliterated the day before, 
obliterating pre-market to then hit those upper echelon levels where you can scale into. So just super key. Again, bag holders want out. Anybody that was buying here, 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 and here, once you get this, they want out, guys. That's what creates that supply over demand is the majority of people here are not buyers. This is supply. This is people going, hell yeah, dude, get me out of this crapple. That's what they're saying. So this is why we get this, you know, every single pop is just met with a massive drop. That's what, that's what it looks like when more sellers are in the market than buyers. When you have more supply than there is demand, all of this is, is a physical representation of the bid and ask, which is literally just the Picasso or the Mona Lisa of price action. That's all it is, guys. This is a physical representation, um, you know, digitally, obviously, in the form of the bid and the ask. So this is, you can see the sentiment change. So this is exactly what is happening. If we go into Wednesday, let's see what some of the members were talking about or are doing. A DBGI short, watch list, banger, Rockmon, awesome. Just following the watch list, following Alex's plans, uh, BL668 on MMAT. Wonderful job. Let a stock top. That is where you want to hit it previous. Pay yourself on the wash. Absolutely scale in and out of it. And, in, and that's what Travers did. So, you know, Travers is coming in and SMMT, like I'm going to catch these drops because this stock is still not breaking down. You know, SMMT was kind of like trailing upwards in a trend for like three or four days, including today. So just a wonderful job on catching this. You know, as you can see, he was very patient for every major kind of support or drop and selling into these, these, um, you know, pumps and or jumps and or breakouts or whatever you want to call it. But the price action going up, he was selling right into these rips and just just a wonderful job. I know everybody has different lingo for stuff. Rockmon coming in a reversal hour on a stock that is finally starting to fail. Hit this channel. Paid himself on the drop. Doesn't get any sexier than that. Alex smoking the shisha. I don't know where this was, but this brought back memories, guys. Just a just a plug about myself. In high school, I was the shisha master. I had so much hookah. I, I like burnt out my lungs in high school. In fact all of the all of the sports teams would come to my garage because I had what's called like the scorpion and I had like these scorpion hoses it was just super fun so you know I was the shisha master in high school before I <laughs> probably destroyed my lungs and that's why I had to take a breath all the time man while I talk I'm like I still I still feel like I just have shisha lungs but don't smoke kids do not say it's not worth it um really quick guys so all right i'm gonna pull up a couple of alex's trades yesterday thursday because obviously i'm recording this day on friday um let's go through this so let me pull up over here a lot of windows let's go to smmt first and this is going i gave a webinar on this today actually but we're gonna go to yesterday so this was yesterday this thing is holding trend man this is a multi-day runner in fact if you scroll out what you guys are gonna see this is gonna be a this is gonna be a pretty good first red day soon. As you can see, we're going into day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. Who knows how long this go? But this is gonna offer some big opportunity here in the coming days. Next week, SMMT would have loved if this had a major gap up. Today is day three, so I will look for a morning push on red to green rejection and looking short. I will only be interested in shorting if bounces fail on it. First, that's what Alex was saying. Um, he did just that, guys. He waited for the bounces, caught this first one, caught the second one, and then just pretty much wrapped up. So Alex did a really good job on this. Um, you know, I liked it, clean and simple. It, it, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Um, EX ESPR or EXPR. I'm gonna pull up one second. So this was this day. And Alex did a really good job. I, I love this. You know, he's coming into this. He's hitting where, you know, the lines. I mean, guys, something like this is as simple as, I mean, truly, you can ballpark a line. Like, for the love of God. You know what I mean? It's all right here. You know, where a stock fails before, it fails in the open, which is totally sexy. I know Alex chased this a little bit because I can see an, an area right here. Chased it a little bit, stopped out. I don't know why he was in chase mode. Apparently, he just probably felt it was, you know, up too much and he wanted to chase it. Every now and then we get FOMO, but believe it or not, where bow or patient shorts are usually filling their orders alex was actually chasing and stopping out so look dude just because alex is your multi seven figure year main trader does not mean that he doesn't mess up every now and then that's just the way of it so every now and then that happens guys you can't clown a multi seven figure year trader on you know a mess up every now and then but again 
Again, if you think we don't get FOMO and being in the market for 10 years, you're out of your mind. We still get FOMO. Welcome to the game. You'll always have FOMO. You just have to mitigate it and cut it like Alex did as soon as you can. David on PHVS, probably a little FOMO, a little bit of a chase. I wanted to pull up this example as well because, again, guys, you got to wait for stocks to pop. So this would have been the area in the morning. That would have been the scale zone. So, you know, just remember not to chase if you're going to short. I know David's mostly a long trader. Probably got a little FOMO, but I love his stop out. Really good job. Um, uh, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I love what HooperX did. HooperX chased a little bit. He probably was thinking what Alex was thinking, but he did hit where he should have hit. Scaled out, scaled in, scaled out. That's a best case example for scaling in scaling out absolutely beautiful travers again catching these drops uh this one this one was smmt with it again the trend was holding um sold the rips you know just absolutely so sexy man and how many times have you seen travers long this have a good entry or something like this and then hold he makes a lot of money on the way up and then has a little bit maybe maybe this is 10 or 20 percent of his position maybe it's 30 percent but he's holding for a much bigger move at the sake of break even so obviously his stop would have been here for the remainder but he got that move that he wanted and that is what this is like dude this is like I'm telling you, if we go to, this is the grand slam in baseball, man, or, or, you know, football. I mean, this is the fumble. And then the fumble, the dude gets it all the way in the end zone. When does that happen? Not all the time, but when it happens, that's why you hold that 10, 20, 30% for an absolute fumble and just reclaim and then end zone it immediately for just a, just, it's an unexpected win right there it's an unexpected victory um this was really the move that he's looking for i know that but this is just that sexy portion where if it comes it comes if it doesn't break even is the worst case scenario um d l i e u fantastic job on phvs as well longing you know long support selling the rip holding that little piece amazing job <laughs> i thought this was so funny guys because Tom Diesel was totally on. This is the best caption he could have ever made. Trading be like, how many times have you been Mario thinking, oh, I got this in the bag. I'm just going where I should be. I'm just doing this trade as I should. And then something comes at you, a black swan, and then you got to stop out. And every now and then you get the Ninja Turtles like totally coming out of nowhere. Like that's the point, guys. You have to prepare for any eventuality in trading. And that is why even though you may know exactly what to do, this is why we have our stops in place. So, you know, there, Bow and Alex were out today, guys, on Friday. Um, EXPR was a low-hanging fruit. Rent was a low-hanging fruit. A couple of our members hit those. Let's go into that. But um, not a crazy amount of action today, but it still was a pretty good day, and members members crushed it. Rockmon, SMMT, hit, I gave a total webinar on this today. Pop, 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 hitting exactly where he should on a low-hanging fruit. Fantastic. Even something that's been holding trend. In fact, let me just bring this up for you guys. So SMMT, I took off all my notes before this, but guys, when you have a stock, okay, check this out. When you have a stock day one, day two, day three, day four, I'm not super interested in longing this and specifically on something like this. Check this out. So this thing has been putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like nine or ten tops. You guys can ballpark it. Right there is going to be a massive resistance level because one, one, two, three, four, but like guys, how many times does it have to hit in just after hours in pre-market to show you that four is a significant level to like look at even 390 because the base of the candle is not, not including the wicks. So that's this is what we teach every single day. You guys think trading's hard. Trading can be hard, but it's so freaking simple. It's so simple. I'm trying to like shake, wring your necks on showing you that you guys got to stop listening to shit like iron condors or random stuff that makes people sound way smarter than they are and itchy moku clock. Guys, lines, lines. I know I sound like I'm hopped up on coke. I'm not. I'm just caffeinated up the wazoo. But I'm telling you how simple trading can be. I, I, we give webinars on this whole every day during the week, guys. All right, Danny is coming in on SMMT. He didn't hit the outer line, but he was comfortable chasing, which did reward him. I don't condone chasing, but again, guys, following the continuation plays does offer uh, dividends, no pun intended. Um, irre irreversibly long, one of the ladies at MIC capturing, uh, I love this trade on CBNA, capturing the support, selling the rip, just like Travers does, absolutely phenomenal job. 
All right, guys, Bryant doing exactly the same thing on SMMT. Check that out using the outer lines. The reason why the majority of our members' trades look the same is because process is linear. When you have the process, you know where your edge is. I cannot make that more clear. Guys, I'm moving to Croatia. The team that was playing today, the, the, I, what needs to be said, man? I'm tongue-tied. My God. I mean, I just matched with a girl on Hinge that looks exactly like this in Arizona, but I'm telling you right now, I'm going straight to Croatia after seeing that. So, all right, guys, let me show you a couple things. If I open our Slack chat room, so let me let me show you this. So this is super cool, right? So this is our chat room right here called Slack. And a couple things to note, we have a watch list every single day like I just showed you and take screenshots from. So you see this right here, Alex is guiding you every single day. Tom Diesel's guiding you on the low hanging fruit. You know, day one, day two, day three whatever it is guys we are going to guide you tell you the lines tell you why you have an edge main trading chat this is where the live commentary happens this is where the charts this is where the captions this is where the warnings this is all live this is all how to how to stay safe what's steven doing he'll guide you large cap and options that's mostly for small caps but we have a large cap and options room then we have a swing trading room actually down here but also right here, we have an after hours room. So this is where like the fun, the jokes, the memes, the gifts, share your food, post your success, talk about your failures if you have some. Like we are here to be better. We are here to show you guys. We're here to mentor you and also have fun. Because wouldn't you want to be associated with a community of like-minded individuals where everybody wants and thinks the same? How the hell are you going to tell your girlfriend, hey, babe, I just lost three grand a day trading. I, I didn't follow my process and I FOMO'd into an outer line or I chased. And she'd be like, what the hell does that even mean? She's like, just get rich and buy me a rock already. So the whole point, guys, is these are people that understand you, like-minded traders. We're all after the same goal and that's what it's all about. So if I go to the website, let me show you guys this, myinvestingclub.com. A couple things I want to note. Number one, number one, number one is we have a free training right here. Definitely, definitely watch this, but check this out. We have a video library of some of the most important content on the internet when it comes to learning day trading. And we have curated this, we have organized it, we have done everything we can possibly do to make sure you have the best content possible. Search feature, but scroll down and you're gonna get Alex's live trades. So guys, there's a new series we just put on that's very much like Tuesday. Alex is recording a lot of his live trades and what he's doing with that is then he goes back in after a couple weeks and what we're doing is we're sending to our editor so while it's recorded live lifetime members exclusive get access to this series and we're going to be uploading a lot more is what happens is is alex is basically commentating on the trade what he learned what he was doing size he was using how he was comfortable the lessons you can learn and it's just really cool this is what live mentoring looks like even after the fact so not only do we give live mentoring we're going to give you live trade examples that are recorded real time that they're happening Again, exclusive to Lifetime. If you want to upgrade, just let me know. Just DM me or text my line. But the last thing I want to show you guys is text. So what you can see is 213-458-5997. Same number I posted right here. Or you can click this link on the site and book a free call. Guys, get on the phone with me. I am one of the creators at MIC. I will answer all of your questions. See if you're confident in MIC, everything about it. And just see what MIC is all about. Um, I know, well, you know what? I don't have to bring up the calculator because we, I don't have any other P&Ls. So Alex, basically, we'll just say he made 5,100 this week. It might be a lot more because <laughs> I know he was banging on Monday, Tuesday. I think his only loss was a small loss on, what was it? EXPR. So I'm telling you right now, guys, um, even if it was just 5,100, which I'll bet it's closer to 10 or 15, even if it is just 5,100, who wouldn't want to learn how to make an extra 5,100 a week? And I know Alex is a really good case example, so you're not just going to start making those huge numbers. It might be two, $300 to supplement um, daily. But guys, this is what's possible. And this, you know, Alex makes easily five grand a week. So this is what we teach. This is what we do. We're here to show you. We're here to educate you and make sure that you guys have the best possible resource, content, and community when it comes to day trading because we are so passionate. I mean, you can hear it in my voice. I'm practically coked out with this, but I'm just caffeined out realistically. Dude, I don't even drink alcohol. I'm clean edge as hell. 
but we are so passionate about what we do because we have changed so many lives in the process and thousands of members can uh, you know attest to that and 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 read our reviews trust pilot read our reviews on other forums you know listen to testimonials on the website like cfmic is for you book a call and guys we will see you next week for another espn highlight reel and i hope you have a wonderful weekend